Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Lean Art. We're more than a channel, we're a community. Today I'm opening up a brand new, just released, well, not yet, Sun and Moon Guardians Rising Booster Box. And every single card that I pull from this box will be given away to one lucky winner. Simply subscribe to this channel, like this specific video, and comment below your favorite card that I pull from this Sun and Moon Guardians Rising Booster Box. I'm so excited to be opening this well in advance. There are so many secret rares with this specific series, but there's a look at the back. You can pause the video if you want to read that, but we are going to get right into opening up this box. I am so excited about this series. There are so many playable cards if you actually play the card game. I just usually collect them myself, but ready? Here we go. Oh, oh my gosh. Wait, nothing like the smell of fresh, newly released booster packs. I'm gonna put them back here, put them back here for this, and I'll just kinda leave the box in the back like that for a little show and stuff, but I'm so excited about this. You don't know how excited, can you tell how excited I am? There is the first booster pack. Um, as far as cards that I'm really looking out to get, I'm not really sure. I know there's a secret rare double colorless energy so that is probably one that I'm really, really looking out for. But here are the four artworks. You can also let me know in the comment section your favorite artwork. But let's get right into Sun and Moon Guardians Rising. I'm so excited. Now the codes shouldn't be available yet. However, I'm going to give them away. So whoever gets these and redeems them, then it's up to you. So I'm not sure about the card trick yet. I'm going to assume it's four. Cards. Yes, I think I got it right, but let us begin. I'm going to go a little bit slowly at the beginning just so we can kind of get a look at all the cards. And I purposely have not looked at what cards are in this series. I do know a few of them, like the double colorless secret rare and a few other secret rares. But for the most part, I liked being surprised just like you that are watching this for the first time. So Enhanced Hammer, which I believe is a secret rare. A Watch Hog, Vulpix, Slowpoke, Machop. I can do that too. Can, 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 yeah, look, it's the same thing. I'm copying Machop right there. And a Helioptile, Murkrow. What is. Is that Jules? I always knew Murkrow was up to no good. A Hala and Hala Achia, Waylord. Oh my gosh. Now, this is just a non hollow card, but Waylord, hashtag Waylord Army, he deserves a lot because look at. I love the drawing. I love. I just love this card. He, like, deserves his own area over there just because that's an awesome card. Before I get into the second pack, I did want to say I will be making my first appearance at a Pokemon convention called Pokemon Overlord here in Dallas, Texas, one week from the posting of this video, which is April 29th, Saturday. And. I am purposely taking time off so I can come for four hours, I believe, 1 to 4 p.m. and meet you guys. The event, I'm going to give out cards. I'm going to, there's, this event is amazing. It's called Pokemon Overlord. Pokemon Overload, not Overlord. PokemonOverload.com website will be in the description, along with a code that you can use to get a few dollars off on the register price. You don't need to register in advance, but I suggest you do because it is going to be crowded. It is also going to be a Guardians Rising pre-release event, so there will be packs given away, free cards. I'm telling you guys, it's going to be a lot of fun, but the best part is I'm going to be able to meet all of you guys that want to come. So this is something I know it's a little bit last minute for me, but I didn't know if I was going to be able to be able to attend or not, but I will be able to attend. And I hope to see many, many of you there. Leonhard can't speak English today. That's a cool card. But check the description in the below. In the description below, it's PokemonOverload.com and use the code Leonhardt. Or just show up and then you can just register, you know, show up that way too. So check that out. It's going to be fun. Tentacool. Clefairy. I got to say, the artwork in these cards are awesome. A Lunala Reverse Rare. That is beautiful. Look at that. Okay, I got to say, I'm impressed here. And a Swellow. Not so handsome fellow. 
non hollow rare. All right, look at that guy. It's menacing, absolutely menacing and creepy. So, um, so far, I'll kind of pick up the speed as far as the pack opening goes uh, pretty soon, but still want, every I want everybody out there to kind of get a look at the code. I mean, the cards and how they are. Beware, you were a rare before, now you're not. Paradise Conservation. Chansey, you are also a rare before. Heliob Tile. Tentacool. Stuffle. A Alolan Golem. That's a reverse rare. Very nice. And our first holographic, a Drampa. Looks like a Grandpa. Holographic card. So that is an awesome little combo there. I'm going to put him by the Waylord. We may pull out like a thousand Waylords, and that's fine by me. Just because I really 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 like Waylord a lot it's about time he got his due so i think i pulled like a Waylord ex or something in a recent video and i was so excited about that but here we go you can let me know your thoughts on what you think of oh that's so creepy nothing like chomping on some diamonds in the nice afternoon multi-switch you can let me know what you think of the guardians rising series and the shlagoo and what you think of it machop he's getting his due he's got two cars Fletchling. A Alolan Vulpix. Wow. It's a nice snowy area there. Gothita. Vanillish. And a Whiskash non hollow rare. So, like I said before, I'm giving away all the cards in this specific video, this opening, it's by simply subscribing to the channel, liking this video, and commenting below your favorite poll that I pull. So even in this pack, if it's a good card, it will be given away. So let's see. I'm so excited. There's so many secret rares in this set. If you are a master collector, master set collector, what is going on? He looks like the dad from American Pie. Seriously, look at the uh, eyebrows. But there's so many secret rares. Not sure if I'm going to ever get all of them. Wishy-washy and a Gudra holographic card. So the holographics are also different, but the whole new GX cards that they came out with in the previous set, I'm actually a big fan of those. I would tell you if I did not like them, but I really do like them. They're, they're pretty cool, and I, I gotta say, I'm a fan. Just like the new Hyper Rares, Rainbow Rares, whatever you call them. Ooh, Marini, Fletchender, we got you before. Oh, Deli Bird, just sitting there, very nice and cute. Taylo. Carvana Barboach. Wow. Another reverse rare hollow. That is really creepy, too. I gotta say, this vault got Mount Doom in the background. And a Turtonator. It's a fire part. It's getting hot in here. So keep on opening more packs. Oh. Looks like a Ninetales. A Lowland version. It's been been uh, chilling in the snow or something so let's continue the opening we got the uh, energy right there altar of the moon gliscor brooklet hill looks very nice and cozy beldum there it is the volpix slowpo just like slow -po. just relaxing machop i can do that too gilead tile <gasps> a blissy reverse rare gosh look at that that's a great looking card and not look at the damage 160 and a chandelure, but it's getting in fuego in here because it's a fire one. Usually it's just like sitting there like, I'm a chandelier. What do I do? But now it's on fire. So it's like pissed off. It's like, it's it's red for passion, for fire. So let's continue on. Gotta say, I like the artworks. Pretty cool. I like the purple and green shades. It's always cool. Altar, rug rough, rock rough. American Pie Dad, Fletchling. I like coming up with nicknames for Pokemon that just remind me of something right off the bat. So if you're going through these and you see something that just reminds you of like a famous icon or anything, you can let me know in the comment section. It's always funnier. Like that one reminds me of this from that. You can let me know in the comment section because those are always fun to uh, see. Because, you know, I start doing them myself. So let's continue. That's a creepy card. Weeping Bell. Weeping Bell. Wimpod. Machop. Whalmer. Hi. Stuffle. And a Rayquaza. Non hollow. Well, welcome back, Rayquaza. It's been a long time. It's 
Been a long time, been a long time. Surprised it's not by a skyscraper or something. You know, because it's Rayquaza. Okay, so there's the next code. Still, as I said before, you're not going to be able to redeem those yet, but you can still save them. And the official release date, which I believe is May 1st or May 5th, I'm not really sure. There's so many dates. I don't know. Ooh, look at that Gumi. Why would they make a Gumi out of like that little cloth stuff? It's like the gooeyest thing ever. A ice cream, Clefairy. Very nice. Rock rough. A snow run. A nacho. And a non hollow rare. So, so far, nose goes on the GX cards. I did hear that they're the Incineroar GX and all the other starters are confirmed in this series. You can correct me if I'm wrong. Because I didn't actually like see an opening or anything yet, but holla at ya boy. Oh, look at that tentacruel. That is very nice. A Wimpod, Gooming again. Wishy washy. Vanillite. Clefairy. I see something shiny. <gasps> oh my gosh. The grandpa is back. Drampa the Grandpa GX card. Full art. My first one of Guardians Rising. That is beautiful. Wowie, wowie. That is 142 out of 145. That's a very nice card. Wow. I'm so excited. Um, as far as like the pull rates goes, I know Sun and Moon. I usually got pretty good pulls, but they weren't like... The pull rates just overall for everybody were down. Now, I know that stopped... Um, from, you know, like from master set collectors and stuff, it made it very difficult for collectors. Um, it looks like it's going to be that way this time based on some random stuff that I've seen, but maybe we'll get an amazing box here and just, uh, Hey, request that. Maybe we'll just completely go against the odds and see what we can do. But as you can see, I'm currently in my new studio. I am not finished setting up one, my new camera and two. The lights. I'm going to be getting much better lights in here, so it'll be nice, bright, and sunny, and shiny. Well, not sunny, but you know what I mean. So, but I'm very excited to be in here. A rescue stretcher. Don't want to be on those. Beware. Taylor from Beyonce. Wilmer. Trubbish. Jingo Mo. Oh, Wimpod. There he is again. We just got you in full art. And, ooh, a comfy. These cars are so bright and sunny. I know I said that about the sun and moon ones, and then somebody commented saying, Leonhardt, these cards, you should know the backstories of these cards. They are terrible. That was for sun and moon. These look much more bright and sunny. However, I do know, or at least I think I saw, I think I can, I think I can. I think I saw a Mimikyu that was in this set. I pulled a two secret rares from three packs when I opened up the Mimikyu box. A Mud Ray, that's interesting. It's just like a Denver Broncos right there. And I pulled two secret rares from that box. So it's in this series. Another reverse rare. Very nice. And a Muds, Mudsdale. Kind of like a Clydesdale. <laughs> okay. But that's pretty cool. We just pulled the uh, earlier stage of it. And then we get the hollow. So like, just like in Sun and Moon, I, the hollow rates are huge. There's tons of hollows that I got. And a lot of people got. But... When you were getting all the other cards, that's why people are saying the, the low the pull rates were pretty low. So Vanillish, Wismascot, Marini, Phantom, Talo, Whalner, Trubbish, I love that card. Rockruff, A Garbador, non hollow. I've if I'm walking in a garbage dump, not that I'd be doing that on a catch <laughs> Just don't mind me, little old Leonhardt walking in the garbage dump in the middle of the Saturday. But if I and I saw that thing walking around, I would be a little, little freaked out. But it's okay. At least we don't see any lowland muck. Matang. A Komala. Look at that. Basic Pokemon, 100 damage. Very nice. Energy Lanto. Slowpoke. Wishy Washy. No spread. You know, the funny thing is, I still have Reverse Rare. Very nice. And it looks like the. What was that bird? I'm forgetting all my names today. You know, it's early, so I can, you know, I can do that, but I still haven't pulled a ultra rare from the Sun and Moon set. So I'm still doing my like evolutions, Mega Charizard, where are you at? Where I'm trying to pull a Mega Charizard full art 
and I still haven't, and I still haven't pulled an Ultra Ball in the Sun and Moon, but don't worry, I have plenty of Sun and Moon packs to open up, plenty of Guardians Rising product openings coming up, so get ready for some amazing stuff. Helioptal, and <gasps> our first secret rare, yes, oh my gosh, that is Beautiful. It reminds me of the hyenas <laughs> from the Lion King. Never repeat that again when I just did. But oh my god, that was supposed to be a hyena too. That is beautiful. Oh my gosh. 156 out of 45. We have our first rainbow rare, secret rare, whatever you want to call it. That hyper rare. That is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Seeing those cards, okay, I'm a fan of like stuff that is really rainbowy like that, and shiny stuff. If you don't know, forgot my sunglasses, but when you get stuff like that, kind of can't beat that. It's pretty cool, if I do say so myself. I did another getting random people to open up Pokemon cards video where I just walked up to random people and asked them if they would open up Pokemon cards. Please go check out that video. It was posted earlier today. Oh my gosh, look at that in a Lowland Sand Slash. Reverse rare, awesome. I like they have that little like godlike Dragon Ball Z stuff going on in the background. Victory Bell, like oh, that's a, the graphic for that one's pretty cool. I love keep on seeing new cards that I haven't seen before. It is awesome to always see that. Wow. Um, as far as mentioning the PokemonOverload.com event, please do go check that out. I went last year just as a random, ca random casual fan, and I'm gonna go again as a random casual fan. It's just, I'd like to give, oh my gosh, hold on. It is the coolest looking card in the world. Oh my gosh, it's Slowbro, and he's about to eat a Hoppip, I think. Hoppip Anonymous. Um, but it's fun, I get to meet a lot of y'all there, and that's why I wanted to go specifically and announce it so I can meet y'all, and I'll be giving away random cards and fun stuff, so please do let me know if you can attend. I know it's short notice, but it would be awesome to see y'all there. Stay <gasps> Oh my gosh, that is by far, it's not a secret rare, it's 144 to 145, I believe, yeah, with the Raichu, Alolan Raichu in it, how do you do? That is by far, it has a little orange shade to it, is, that is beautiful, oh my gosh. I'm gonna go through all the pools again, but look at that, it's a dance party going on over there. Oonch, 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 oonch. That was awesome i'll go through the cards again and please do sure please be ready to be sure to uh, let me know which one of those is your favorite there's gonna be a lot of fun we still got plenty of packs to go but so far i am impressed with this pseudo i'm impressed with this series mudbray a lot litwick what's going on there it's just kind of chilling alolan sand slash that's a, it's not hollow but that's a really cool looking card I do like a lot of the Alolan forms. Yes, I even like Mux form and stuff, so... You know, it's kind of cool. It reminds me of, like, the Phantom Forces when it had, like, all the gumdrops and stuff everywhere. That just made me really hungry and stuff. Particularly for jelly beans. And I don't like jelly beans, and it still made me really hungry. Marini. Fletchender. Sableye. I apologize my voice right now. It's kind of going out so it's not the usual and I don't have water. Machop, you got your reverse hollow and a Gothitelle. Link last. That's very cool. So for all you people out there that are seeing the Guardians Rising series just as myself for the first time, uh, I hope you're enjoying it so far. It's always a treat to when a new series comes out, you start fresh and I think it won't actually be officially used for play until May 15th, if I did read correctly. Murkrow, Wismascot, and a Talonflame. But like I said before, I don't play competitively, but when I go to pre-releases, I do play. And that's what I'm hoping to in this pre-release at the Pokemon Overload event. I will be hopefully playing in the pre-release there with... Y'all would beat me a lot because then again, I like don't know how to play that much. Well, I know how to play, but... Oh, look at that Machoke. But... I'll go play like professional people, then I'll beat them that have played way more than I do. And then I'll like have no idea. And then I'll think I know what I'm doing. And then they beat me, like destroy me the next time. Look at that. Very nice, like modeling. Ooh, I can look prettier than you. No, you can't. But there we go. Sun and Moon Guardians Rising, the booster box opening. So 
So yeah, honestly, we have... I mean, we've gotten some very nice cards over there, but the pull rates... I don't know the official pull rates for the boxes. Y'all can let me know, because I'm sure a lot of you are very informed of the pull rates for this series, but it looks like they're not going to be that good. Alolan Sandshrew. That is a very funny looking card. And a Trevenant. A lot of people like the Pokemon Trevenant. It's a very creepy Pokemon. I'm not the biggest fan. I know there was the Trevenant EX card, which I think I pulled like a thousand times, but it's a pretty popular card. And a lot of people liked it. So, but there it is, the non-hollow version of it. Let's see if we can get some better pulls so far. A Lampet, Machoke, Slowbro, Gathita, Castform, Tentacool, Clefairy, Litwick. <gasps> there it is, a Mimikyu. Oh, I love that card. What does that say right here? It says, its actual appearance is unknown. Saw what was under its rag and was overwhelmed by the tear and died so that's about the creepiest card ever i'm gonna put that over there just because i'm a huge mimikyu fan shout out to all the mimikyu fans out there you can leave a hashtag mimikyu army if you want in the comment section so i know and i do go through the comment section and i respond to as many comments as i can and i see them at least so here we go komala enhanced hammer i think that one's a secret rare as well, well, not that specific card, or else I would be going crazy right now. But it is also a secret. Wizcash. And, oh my gosh, one of the new GXs. That is beautiful. Oh my gosh. And look at that Ultra Uppercut GX attack. 240. He likes being the exact same HP. Or if you saw my getting random people to open Pokemon cards pack, an old man that opened a pack called the HP horsepower so it was really funny i do highly suggest y'all go check out that video to see random people opening up the cards it's always funny i like also just getting people acclimated to the pokemon card game so now they can hear their kids talking about or something and they would know what's going on oh my gosh that's two ex's in a row and i love this one a turtonator gx card there's a lot going on on that card but that's a nice one doesn't have as much HP as the other one, but it's 240 as the other one. 190 is not bad. But a lot of, like I said before, a lot of the GX cards are very playable. And that was two GXs in a row, if I might. If I do say so myself. Very nice pulls. Lampin, Tentacruel, Machop, American Piedad, Mudbray, Sandshrew, Contony, Alamola. I can never say that. Oh my gosh! A Sylveon GX card. That is three GXs in a row. It's saving all the pack magic for the very end. That is a very nice looking GX card too. So can we make it? We just pulled the hat trick. We pulled a turkey. That was a turkey. It's like in bowling when you get three strikes in a row. That's what we just did with this. Can we make it four GXs in a row? Even a hollow I would take. But let's see, Gotharita, Max Potion, Clefable is just like, hello, and a Pancham, Bellsprout, Pancham was like, you talking to me, Carvana, Patrat, American Pie Dad, and a Holographic, an Absol Holographic card. That looks like more like a Magic the Gathering type of artwork on it, it's still like mischievous for the artwork for that one, but... It's okay, so I'm going to stack them all like this. Here are the rest of the packs. It's just so good to be holding these packs. It's just Guardians rising. It's so fun. Yay. All right, I'm getting too excited here. All right, so we have four for four pulls with hollows and GXs. Let's see if we can get Continue It, Choice Band, Field Blower, Pancham, you talking to me, Chansey, Petalil, Trubbish, Turtonator, and a Vanillax. Make sure you're hungry, kids, because we are having ice cream. I don't know, is that, does that constitute eating ice cream as like hurting his family or something? Like, would it get pissed off? Probably would, but, huh, you know. I think on Netflix I saw that the Pokemon XY series is uh, on there on its entirety. I have, I like stopped watching the show, the animated show, a long time ago. Y'all can let me know if you think it's worth it to get back in the show. I haven't even seen the new Pokemon Sun and Moon show series, 
Um, I know they changed kind of like the artwork and how it was. You can, or the animation, not the artwork. Um, Y'all can let me know in the comment section if you are watching it. That would be pretty cool to let me know your opinion on what you think of it, if it's worth to watch. I do remember watching, which you can go watch this on YouTube, I think. Um, like the Pokemon Reds adventure, Pokemon Championships here. I'm not, I forgot what it's called, but you should look look for it. It's the adventure of Red from the Pokemon video game itself. And if you want like an actual adaptation, which is very well done, go watch that because it was awesome. So it's about time we got, I mean, better pulls, but I was saying, but we just kind of got four pulls. So multi-switch, so I can't complain that much. Chansey. Petalil, Trubbish, Swellow, Reverse, Holographic, and another Drampa Holographic. So we got our first, I wish there was like a bell that I can ring. It's like, oh no, we got a, we got a duplicate. There are the final three packs. Which one should I go? Look how like nice and shiny these are. I'll go with this one. We'll go with the, I guess that's the Ninetales, the Alolan Ninetales. I don't know how it sees. It looks like it has like little st stuff on its eyes, you know, like little crusty eyes. You gotta, you know, brush that off or something. Unlisted leaf. A energy lotto, machoke, barboach, carvana, fletchling, litwick, gathita, machamp. That is awesome. I know he gets a lot of cards, ladies and gentlemen, but that is a cool one. And a whiz cash. So we are down to the final two packs in this Guardians Rising Pokemon booster box opening. Let's see. That really opened up fast. That, you know, it's obviously we just pulled the Machamp and I'm strong too. And so you can say that just so strong I was breaking the pack apart. So let's see if we can get some good pulls for the last two packs. Machop, Fletchling, Alolan Vulpix, Gathita, Chansey, Stuffle, and a Honchkrow. Look at that one. It's a bunch of Murkrow in the background, but he's the head. I don't have my beard grown out like when I did when I opened up Fates Collides pack. Packs, plural, like Mega Alakazam. The man himself. Like that haunch crow right there. All right, we're here with the last pack. I put the code in the wrong section. Let's see if we can get some last pack magic. But before I do it, please remember the giveaway. Please remember to check out PokemonOverload.com. Instant in the description below. You can find that all. And I hope to see many of you at the event next weekend. Please do let me know if you are going to attend. Meeting y'all, meeting the community, the fans is what I love doing this. So it'll be a pleasure. Morini and a ice cream vanilla X is the last one. But don't go just yet. We are going to look at all the amazing pulls. So you can let me know in the comment section your favorite pull from this opening. So, start off with the Drampa, Grandpa, Absol, a Sylveon GX, Turtonator GX, a Komoo GX. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but that's okay. A Mimikyu. I just wanted to add that one in there because it's awesome. Oh, there we go. The Hyper Rainbow, whatever you want to call it, Secret Rare. That is beautiful. And then this one. Oh my gosh. This is my favorite card. It, ding, ding. Yes, T. This, this, this is my favorite card right here, I would say. That is awesome. Mudsdale Holographic. Comfy. Drampa EX. She's like, get off my lawn. Chandelier. A Grudra. Drampa again. If you, maybe you could like that one better. And the Waylord. So I hope you enjoyed this opening. My name is Leonard. Stay awesome, stay positive. And as always, I'll see y'all in my next video.